All right, so ah, second video of the day. Got some requests for this one. Wanted to know my my thoughts, right? <clears throat> Let's go through the article. Now this is CNN, so I apologize if you get cancer while I'm reading this. Speaking <clears throat> Thursday, this is Adam NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Says Silver said he wants to make up <laughs> women to make up half of all new referees joining the NBA, and he wants teams to hire women as coaches as well. <clears throat> They're quoting him here now. It's an area, frankly, where I've acknowledged that I'm not sure how it was that it remained so male dominant for so long. Yeah, it couldn't be the possibility. Yeah, it's a it's a male performed league. Um. That could have anything to do with it. Silver said of officiating, <clears throat> speaking to the officiating, but whatever, because it's an area of the game where physically, certainly there's no benefit to being a man as opposed to a, a woman when it comes to refereeing. Sort of true. I mean, you still have to be athletic enough to run up and down the court. So, yes, I, I get that. And yes, they, these are... Uh, the, the, you get some older co uh, referees and stuff like that that obviously aren't you saying bold out there. So <clears throat> eh, I get it. Here's where it gets interesting. Here, the goal is going forward. It should be roughly fifty fifty of new officials entering the league, and then which I didn't see a lot of people reporting on. Same for coaches, by the way. We have a program too. There's no reason why women should be coaching men's basketball. Okay, so <clears throat> first and foremost, let me just say NBA, with them being a the organization that they are, they can do whatever they want. So I don't want anybody to get it twisted because there's going to be some shithead nerd that's going to say, well, wouldn't you say that they have the right to do whatever it is that they, they want to do? 100%. <clears throat> now, me having my opinion on it does not change that, right? They can do whatever they want. I think a lot of people get it twisted. And this kind of a side note, when we talk about from a libertarian perspective and talk about organizations that do bad things or organizations that do things that we don't find preferable, they look at a right as this is why they always try to get the government to force people to do what it is that they want them to do, because they don't understand the fucking difference between having a right to do something that you own your private property and doing whatever you want to with it <clears throat> And somebody being critical of that, like you can, I can criticize something on whatever, on, on the medium that I choose, like on my own property, I could talk shit um, about this article, that article, what, whatever I want. Um, but ultimately, when it comes to the ultimate decision, absolutely, that is your right as the property owner to do whatever it is that you want. But a lot of dipshits, you know, they can't think outside of this. It's like, well... Uh, it's like when we say come out against something like, let's say, the Civil Rights Act or or something like that, affirmative action or, or something like that. People think that, OK, that means you're condoning people wanting to exclude a certain type of person from their facility, which people do that anyway. But um, just from a loose standpoint, if it's like maybe on race or whatever, people think that that means that you condone it. No, that's not what it means. This is me saying that they have the right to do it. If somebody doesn't want to bake me a cake because I'm black, that's their right. That doesn't mean I got to say, like, I, I got to like it or anything like that. Hell, I'm going to be a loud mouth about it. I'm going to tell everybody about it because I want to hit them where they hurt. So make no mistake. What I'm about to say and some of the approaches that I'm about to have does not mean that NBA does not have the right to do that. I have to say that because dipshits don't understand that. <clears throat> Nonetheless, this is a terrible policy. And I'm going to tell you why. Terrible, terrible. Terrible, terrible in, in the words of Chuck, Charles Barkley. But this effectively, and this is the ironic thing about the discrimination element, and that the same people that want to say that there is something like they're against discrimination, will discriminate. Affirmative action is literally a form of discrimination. This is a form of discrimination. It literally is a form of discrimination. You And it, it's a form of, um, well, it's not by way of race, 
but it is, you can argue that it's sort of sexist because what it does is you're applying these, you're placing this emphasis on what gender the person is as opposed to Mary. It would have been one thing if he said, well, we want to let people know that Yes, if you are a a female and you want to coach in our league, you want to be a referee um, in our league, that's open to you, right? That's an option. We do not, we don't discriminate um, or anything like that. That's not what he did, though. Instead, what Adam Silver is doing is saying that they want to push for 50 50. That doesn't make any sense. That's really, that's literally saying that no matter what, no matter. The merit, no matter if this is the best the people that are best for the job, no matter if these people are proven performers, no matter if they can perform the greatest, that doesn't matter. It's about your gender. So some of you guys are going to be tokens. Some of you guys are going to be there um, that you probably shouldn't be there. And you jump somebody simply because of your race. Now, yes, there are like if you go to women's leagues, there are men coaches all around collegiate men coaches that coach uh, uh, women leagues and stuff like that. So that's, it's not unusual in that sense, if we're talking about that crossover element. Uh, But I don't like the fact that when I saw other people talking about it, usually just these leftists, they act as if they take that human, that male human sort of element and female human um, element out of the equation and they they treat people like these monoliths right like these all right well you're a woman and, and you're a man and there's absolutely nothing nothing different about you um and, and how you engage with each other from a cultural standpoint due to your gender and that's just the reality of the situation i don't know why that's such a a hard thing to admit i handle men way differently differently than i handle women way different i think you know, I don't look, man. I'm not. I've done videos time and time again. Equality is a fucking gimmick because it's a joke of a concept. It doesn't exist. No man is even equal to himself on different days, like the great Thomas Sowell um, says. There's no such thing. People look at representation. People look at these these bullshit demographics, and they say, well, because this group is underrepresented, that which isn't even a such thing, is underrepresented. There's something like criminal going on. There's something wrong going on, and that's not always the case. Um, it, I, I, the analogy I often use is if I'm like a track and field, um, let's say if I f- have an indoor track facility and I own, and, and the idea is to train sprinter. We specifically focus on 100, 200, 400 meter sprints. Um, and that may cause my coaching staff, my training staff to be predominantly black, maybe all black. As an example, that does not mean that, you know, I'm being racist to white people. It's just that, well, no, the best sprinters in the world happen to be black. (laughs) I mean, that's just what it is. But going back to what I was saying from a cultural standpoint, like men and women handle each other different. No matter what propaganda you put out there that you want to act like it's not the case, that it's bullshit. Even now, if you go, you probably handle your mother different than you handle your father. So there's going to be obviously pushback to this at some point in time. But what I don't like is the emphasis that, okay, 50-50, as if that means some shit. That doesn't mean you've made your league better. That doesn't mean the coaches' staffs are going to be better. That doesn't mean the referees are going to be better. So why even, why even have that quota? Why even rough push for anything close to 50, 50, if it comes out 99, one on any side, if it's of merit, so the fuck what? So what? So again, it would have been a completely different thing. If he comes out and says, Hey, just want to reiterate we're not close to women being part of this league, be it in by coaching staff, be it by, let's say, um, referee or anything like that. Okay. So if you, if you think you, you know, go ahead and pursue it. 
doesn't mean you're going to get the job. And I, I just don't get it as far as why people always look to demographics. Rep they look at representation. They look at demographics and they say, okay, it is dominated by one sector. Because then after that, what does that change to? What does 50-50 change to? What is, like, what, 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 what's, what's next as far as the representation element? Like these, this is such a warped way of thinking. Just in general, it doesn't matter if you apply this. You can apply this to anything else. People look at stats alone. Now, that doesn't mean that there can't be something criminal going on. That's not what I'm saying. Absolutely, a statistic in that way, shape, or form can, can you can you look at that and say, okay, something funky is, is happening. But in often cases, in any human affair, there's there's that's not the case. Most human, and there's never going to be equality. It's not, and that's not even something to push for. And that's the, what, what we got here is that people are pushing for this as if that's an inherently positive thing. As if, well, if it's 50, 50, it's good. So says who? Does that mean your league is better? Does that mean that the referees are officiating better? Does, does that mean the coaching staff are growing players better? Are winning games, winning more games? Does that mean anything? That doesn't matter. The makeup of those individuals doesn't matter. You, this, is a, this, is, this is a sport. So this is of merit. This, is a, this has measurable statistics. Things that you can look at that are, that, that are measurable in terms of performance. Why would it matter? What, why would the stats, the stats that matter, why would it mean, you know, what fucking gender they are? Come on, man. Are you fucking kidding me, Adam Silver? But what I never liked is this 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 idea that whether it be something that's male dominant, even female dominated, or something like that. Usually, it's never it's never female. Something they look at something and they say female is some female dominant and it's a problem. Like most dudes don't give a shit about that. <laughs> most dudes don't give a shit. Or most women like this, or performing that, or or that makeup is mostly women. I don't care because you notice when when um, they talk about like the prison systems and stuff like that and they'll say this makeup is white this uh, black people overrepresented Latino people overrepresented you know what they never talk about is how the vast majority the well majority uh, of people that are in prison are fucking males <laughs> they never talk about that shit right <laughs> they, they never talk they never talk about that but uh, when it's something they see sending success like the NBA, they they start to pinpoint, all right, well, what's the problem? I got to find something wrong with it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys don't have enough females involved. Such a warped way of thinking because it operates under the idea that just because there's equal representation in something, that thing is better than than what it would be if that didn't exist, if that equality didn't exist. And that is such a horseshit, bullshit way of thinking because it can be objectively false. Like in the analogy that I gave with my with a track team um, or a track facility, that's just how it is. You know what I mean? People, and, and, and what it completely disregards is, you know, again, People converse with who they converse with. They're cultured with who they're cultured with. They respond to who they respond to. And sometimes it's different. Some people are in things more often than other people. You got to consider that when you consider representation. It's a, and it, Which is why you shouldn't even focus on rep representation. To me, I think this is such a gimmick-ass way of looking at things. It's like, okay... Well, well, shit. The people that are performing this job, are they the best for the job? People get fired. People get hired. Fine. Now, it's not to say that you got to X women out, but I would just think in terms of how men respond better to other men telling them to do some shit, right? <laughs> They have more respect for that's just how it is. That's just how it is. I don't give a shit about y'all being mad on YouTube. We're not equal. We're just not equal in terms of how we approach each other. It's just not the truth. People that say shit like that are lying. They're fucking lying. 
I don't handle my lady like I handle y'all. I just don't. <laughs> and I won't. Not, and it's not just because she's my lady. Like people that she obviously somebody she's somebody somebody I care about. I obviously handle her different than what I handle. Um, uh, uh you know, uh, obviously a dude from a romantic romantic standpoint because I ain't with that that shit. But what I'm saying is, is that just from a a a communicative level, right? We handle each other different. We respond to each other differently. That's just how it is, right? So when you take into consideration, maybe not as much for referees, but suddenly for coaches, I would argue that it's it's absolutely understandable why one me, people would be more responsive to men. Men, men, grown ass men would be more responsive to other grown ass men, especially in the NBA. There's no women that 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 hoop in the NBA. There will probably never be any women. They've been, they're probably tokenized. Uh, just, just for sake of, she won't be any anywhere near better than anybody else out there. But somebody will put her, put her out there just for the sake of um, of uh, of making headlines, right? That may end up happening. I actually foresee something like that uh, happening. Hell, we just saw it right now with this uh, recent chick getting a scholarship, who is not anywhere near as uh, physically gifted or good than, than, than the people that other people that got scholarships. But hey, it's about the headlines, right? But they don't play in this league. And certainly when coaches, now more than ever, you're getting coaches that have been obviously a part of the league, played in the league. You get these player player coaches, former basketball players. I got the Dallas Mavs shirts. Rick Carlisle, former basketball player. Females don't play in the league. So certainly for coaching, it should be completely understandable. Why maybe it would be more men. And I can name thing after thing after thing that would reflect that. But he wants 50-50. And there's no reason why why women shouldn't be coaching men's league. I'm, you know, if there's some, there's anomalies everywhere, right? There's an, I'm a black guy that, that does metal. I mean, there's there's anomalies everywhere. There's 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 there there'll be few and far between. There may be a woman that's qualified and will be able to get enough respect to be a legitimate men's coach. They they already exist, like you know they're talking about Becky Hammond with the Spurs, um, organization right now. I know the Washington Wizards have, uh, which they talk about. Yeah, um, Chrissy Tolliver. So they have female like assistant coaches that are popping up and I don't know how good of a job they're doing or not, but you know, it's not to say that there might not be females that exist, but it's going to remain. If we're going by merit and if we're going by people that, yeah, if, if, if we're going just by, obviously it's not even only just people that are going to be more so wanting these types of jobs, it's going to be male dominated. So actually you're discriminating against the men <laughs> by pushing for this 50 50 because it's an artificial quota because you've got in your mind that for whatever reason that it has to be equal. It's such a warped way of thinking, but it's not just Adam silver. It's a bunch of people that look at, they look at demo people love their demographics and they'll look at that in like multiple different human affairs and they get it wrong. Every time they'll say, well, this person, these people don't, uh, uh, there's not a, in these like fields, these types of jobs, these individuals or these types of individuals are underrepresented or this type of individual is overrepresented. We need diversity as if diversity means it is synonymous to objectively right, objectively moral, objectively of merit, which is not. Obviously, you can have equal amounts of genders. I don't know. Yeah, I know y'all think there, there are millions of those that exist, but you can have equal amounts of those and it wouldn't mean that you have the best coaching staff or the best officiating staff. Just me, you set an artificial, uh, uh, like this artificial measure. Adam Silver, get a grip.